Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new edition of Kingdom Craft with me today. Where are you, Randog? <laughs> Let's go. I'm burning, bro. I'm on fire. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I landed in the lava, man. Let's go. You pulled the lever, man. Who puts a lever, you know, that you really want to touch and TNT underneath it? You crazy! Well, you crazy! I tell you right now, you crazy! I don't know who did that, but there was a lever here with the sign that said "Do not pull," and uh, you pulled it. I don't read, man. This is what you I get. Do I look like a reader? I look at things. Oh, uh, Iskal, buddy, this is like the episode of the Herpaderp, man. <laughs> oh, Herpaderp. Yes. Okay. Well. Well, we basically got our asses pranked. So GG to whoever did that. You got us good, man. Mm -hmm. You got us good. <laughs> Look at that hole, though. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> that, that was a lot of TNT. Seriously, oh, that was wow. a ridiculous amount of TNT. Um, but we're ready to get going on today's episode at last, my friend. Uh, before we do, though, Eskal, there's something that mm -hmm. I want to talk to you very seriously about. Get get out of that bed, man. We, we need we. I like we, it. We now. need to have a okay. heart to heart right now, man. We need to have a heart, right. heart right now because um, it's come to my attention. <clears throat> That the other day you may have done something disgusting to my bed. Uh, yes, go on. I believe that you may have rubbed zombie juice all up in my bed, bro. Don't know what you're talking about. Okay, yes, I did it. It was me and it was pleasurable. I liked it. Well, I'm not happy about it. And this is what's gonna, this is what's gonna happen. This, this, this is what's gonna happen. Oh, dang it. That's good. Let's go. This is, what, this is what's gonna happen. You, you see what I'm doing here? Here, let, let me help you out. There. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Do you have a bed now? <laughs> uh, no, I don't have a bed. Derp! <laughs> Genius. Wait. Wait, I saw one over here. <laughs> this is looking absolutely gorgeous, Rendog. Absolutely uh, thank you, man. fantastic. Thank you, thank you. Someone's left a lol box in the middle of my freaking <laughs> railway track, though. I see it. Who did that? I don't, I don't know, but someone's been super mischievous on the server at the moment. TNT? Lol boxes? I mean, come on, people. <laughs> come on. I mean, really. Yeah. But uh, here we are, guys. As you can see, a lot of progress has been made since my last episode. Uh, before, this was just a piece of giant plankage over here, but uh, Eskal and I have been working super hard to make this harbor station absolutely pimps. Eskal, what are you up to over there, man? I know you've been getting your redstone on. Yes, uh, so what I'm thinking, and hopefully we'll be able to do, is you see them oak planks over here? So, so what are we doing here, though, man? Yeah, I'm Hang gonna on. explain. I'm gonna oh, explain. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, these oak plankage thingies? Yeah. Yes, I'm thinking we put water there, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, okay. That will make a water stream mm -hmm. go all the way down, like a canal thing. Nice. Okay. Uh, nice. And then you jump into a boat, like a zoo. And <laughs> it doesn't get destroyed because we're going to have three buckets, obviously. But you get what I mean. That's awesome. So, the idea is you're traveling, you travel from the Mountain Kingdom, you come into the harbor station, mm -hmm. you come into this little room here, bloop. And there'll be like a little cub cactus thingy over here, which will take the, the take you off the rail car. Then you come into the departures lounge uh -huh. of the harbor station. Then you smack a button and you get a boat. You get into this canal and you are you are deposited, like um, into the uh, into the swamp kingdom transport network, basically. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. And, and the way I want to do this, so just quickly, I'm going to do the redstone off camera because you know I'm not that comfortable with it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm thinking we put a dispenser here. Now, uh -huh. when a dispenser dispenses a boat, um, it needs to have a water block to dispense it into. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, nothing happens. Uh, and another important thing with this here is that we are having a three-wide canal thing. This is important because otherwise the boat that is a two-by-two two will get stuck. Ah, okay. So the boat's popping out in, like, in the middle of the three-by-three. Mm -hmm. And that means that it's, nev it's not going to touch any of these solid blocks around it. And then it's going to be free to get spat down the sweet-ass canal. Exactly. But... Into the swamp. Here comes the prettiness. Here's co here comes the prettiness. We'll cover this up and I'll put piston. I've already put some pistons down here. Oh, God. Is there redstone down here? 
no, 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 not yet. There will oh. be, but uh, we'll we'll put some pistons here and we'll power them like that. Kaboom! And then we'll have water behind them. I'm thinking. So you, you kind of push the button. The water goes out or comes out, right? It's getting dark here. I have no torches. Do you have, do you have torches? I'm trying. <laughs> I got some torches. I got some torches. There. So <clears throat> the idea is the water is hiding behind here in this little pocket. Uh -huh. Pistons comes down. Then a boat gets dispensed. We're going to have a little bit of delay of that. Then you uh -huh. jump into the boat and then everything clears behind you. So, you know, everything goes back the way it were. So it's, when you come... Yeah, that's like, awesome. So when you come into the harbor station, the docks are going to be dry. Yes. And when you smack the lever or push the button or whatever the, the mechanism is going to be, you will get the water and you will have a, 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 what, a 10 second delay or something to get into the boat? Right. Something like that. Uh, and to make this work... I'm going to do a. Let's see if I can remember how to do one of these. Have been a while, uh, but I'm going to. I'm going to do what's called a pulse lengthener. So we're okay. going to have a button, and that uh, that lengthens a pulse. Mm -hmm. So to demonstrate this, I brought some doors. See, I prepare. Um, You're not brand new, bro. I'm not brand new. You think I'm brand new? Yeah, I'm brand new. Okay, that didn't work <laughs> out. What did I do wrong? Oh wait, 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 wait. I see. I see. Need to do you this, don't derp, man. that, and that, I believe. Nope. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I can't remember exactly. But we'll do a pulse lengthener. We'll come back. I'll show it how it works. Um, and basically, the reason we do that is because we want to keep the door here. In this example, we want to keep it open for longer, i.e. the water stream, longer than a regular pulse, right? Uh-huh. So think of it like a, a lever, and then you have a you have a little mini me that turns it off after ten seconds or so. Okay, because so basically what we're trying to do here is trigger the water first, and then trigger the dispenser, right? Because the di dispenser needs water for the boat to the boat needs water to actually become a boat. So there needs to be a delay between the triggering of the of the water pistons and the boat dispenser. Exactly. Is, is that about it? Yeah, and I got this working. I just oh man, it. look at me, Redstone Pro, baby. Oh <laughs> so, yeah. So check this out. So the door uh, over here, this will be your uh, boat dispensing. We'll put okay, that so on this the is delay. The, this... Metaphorically speaking, right? Yeah, this yeah, 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 the yeah. Boat. Actually, we'll we'll put a piston there instead. So the the piston is the boat. Okay. Uh, okay. And the door is the water gate. And okay. what should happen okay. is that the door should open first. Okay. Then can, I, can, I, can I press the button? Yes, the door should open first, stay open, then the piston should go back, and then the the door and everything will close after a while. So you have time to kind of get off the harbor. Try it out. Okay. Okay. Please, enter gods, let this work. Boom. Nice. Yeah. Look how nice. it stays open, and then it's going to shut off here automatically. Boom. And that, yeah, oh, that's beautiful, man. And that gives you more than enough time to get your butthole into the boat yes. before the water disappears. So I'm thinking, I go set this up off Camry, and then nice, I can man, come back nice. at least. Do you want to do? Right. Do you want to show anything as well? Well, I've just been working on on the railway line itself. I've now connected up. Um, basically the railway line all the way back to the mountain kingdom i've added all the redstone rails into it too there's a whole bunch of grinding to be done and um yeah i mean it's looking pretty good i'm kind of currently working on the like what the outside of this little harbor station is going to look like i'm thinking about using fences as walls just to try to keep fantastic. it nice and open yeah man it's yeah. gonna look pretty cool and uh, i think i'm going to try and figure out like a, a like a, a basic roof design or something like that for it now um, and then once we've moved all of this redstone stuff into the butthole of the building, then we can work out what we're going to do with this space. But um, yeah, this is looking pretty good, man. And, and guys, um, we've got a little surprise for you a little bit later on in this episode because we're going to start working on a little bit of uh, a new build in the Swamp Kingdom that has been inspired by some amazing lore written by one of you, man. So, it's uh, amazing. It's truly yeah. fantastic what you guys do for us. Oh, oh man. man. It's called, I'm so tempted to spoil it now, man. But I'm, Don't! I'm, don't I'm, do it! I'm just, don't do I'm, it! I'm going to hold it back, man. I'm going to hold it back. But that's coming up later on in this episode, guys. For now, Iskall and I are going to get this sweet-ass boat dispenser working. We'll see you on the other side of this. I got this working, Ren. I did it. Nice work, man. Uh, after hours and hours of confusion in my head. Uh, <laughs> so check this out. Boats would go in the dispenser. Uh-huh button here uh -huh. will you do the honors yes 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 please you gotta be quick though you gotta be quick to hit the so, button. okay so what am i doing right i'm hitting the button 
Okay, so waiting for the bolt and then right click in the bolt. So I've just arrived from the Mountain Kingdom and I want to go on a little journey to the to Python's vine farm, right? Mm -hmm. I yeah. need a boat to do it though, because we're in the Swamp Kingdom. So I'm going to smack this button. No! <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it works. <laughs> It works beautifully. Here, I'm going to demonstrate, okay? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me get back. I'm so bad. I'm <laughs> sorry, man. Oh, that's fine. That's funny. Uh, uh, I messed up the demonstration. Oh, man. I'm all so right. Bad. Here we go. Swedish demonstration from Ikea. Bam! Like a pro. Uh -huh. <laughs> Check it, you, man. It's very easy to hit the bolt, actually. Yeah, you just need to click it. That's awesome. No, I think I was just I was standing a little bit too far away from the boat and i think what we could po probably do here is actually do something a little bit smart with some fences because maybe what we could do oh wait that's not gonna oh man yeah i have an idea that that's you will hate work. that's not gonna work because you can't hit yeah. the, you can't hit the boat hmm. no i have an idea that you'll hate okay this railway yeah it needs to come down one step i'm sorry it goes up here i noticed and then it goes down here again well it's gonna finish it's gonna finish here okay this is where the this is where the cacti is gonna be over here. On top of here. I think where it will, the fence it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we. I say we bring it down one. Okay. For what's... some other day. I know that you've been working hard on this. <laughs> but it, if you look at it, it doesn't make sense that it's sitting there. Uh huh. I'm so, I'm sorry. Well, I thought that it it, it could work as like a, a boundary or like a, a a natural wall within within the building. I wanted to take the railway line out of the the actual square because if we bring it in here, then there's going to be absolutely no space to walk here, right? So. Oh well, no no it's it's where it is now. That's perfect. Okay. But it needs to come down one. Okay okay. I, I can love dig. It down. Yeah, I can dig. I can dig. Okay, sweet man. Well, this is awesome. Um, I'm loving the fact that we got the boat boat dispenser working. Um, I suppose all we have to do now is set up a second one. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to see the redstone real quick? I want to show. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Let's have a look at the redstone, man. It's oh, pretty my messy. Goodness. Okay, it's pretty messy. It's not beautiful. <laughs> but uh, basically, Ooh. you have your you have your in signal coming down here, right? Uh-huh. Down this uh, staircase. Yep. It goes into this pulse lengthener that we created. Yep, that, that we, we just looked doors. at, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the pulse goes uh, bloop, 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 goes around in a cycle. Exactly. But it also comes down here to this repeater, which is a max delay here. Okay, okay. Goes into this block, then goes into another set of repeaters over here, and then hits this stone brick right here that I just removed. Yep. And that will hit the dispenser. Nice. But that's not part of the pulse lengthening. Uh, and then the pulse lengthening goes in here and it goes down, and we need to put some torch eye down here. Um, and it goes underneath everything. Yep. And it inverts the signal uh, because you, you want, yeah, over here it's inverted. Mm -hmm. So that the pistons are ex extended. <laughs> and then it goes to the pistons. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. But it's pretty oh, oh, yes, here. And then it comes out here to the pistons. And, and it yeah. turns off the signal going to the pistons, which lowers them down. Precisely. Right. Yes. Nice. Yes. Uh, it's, I'm impressed, man. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful redstone build. It looks great. <laughs> Well, it works, okay? I mean, that's as far as I'm going to stretch it. It works. Let's go. It is time to go and find a new spot to build a bit of lore. Oh, man, I'm so excited. <laughs> to, to, build, to build a new lore? Yeah, oh. to, to build a new structure inspired by one of our viewers' incredible freaking lore. And I'm going to read it to you, man. I'm going to read it to you. It's going to be awesome. And we can get to use our awesome new boat dispenser too. Oh, you did it! You did it! Bloop! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh, no. I think I, I gotta wait. <laughs> I have to wait. That was so cool! I don't know why, man, but that just it just made me really, really happy. <laughs> yeah, the feeling. You just get launched off into the, into the lands of the swamp. Nice. Oh, awesome. All right, dude. So here's the plan, right? I have this book to read. It is a bit of lore created by a viewer called Johnny Medieval, and he's written an absolutely amazing bit of lore. Uh, but what, before we get to that, I think what we need to do is find a decent spot for what we're going to build. And I think the most important thing is that we can see what we're going to build from the top of the Mountain Kingdom, because it actually fits quite nicely into the lore. That's and true. Yes. So I think what we should do is one of us should go up to the mountain, one of us should stay down here, and we should see if we can actually see, we'll be able to see the build from the mountain. 
I do the scouting. You okay. do the reading. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That sounds like a plan. I'm going to just sit in this boat, right? And just okay. chill in the middle of the lake. And sit back and relax, Isco and all the viewers. It is time to read some amazing lore written by Johnny Medieval. And here it goes, my friends. Long ago, the Swamp Kingdom was an open, fertile, grassy plain. The people of the kingdom worshipped the benevolent turtle god Shlurp, building a great ziggurat temple to honor him. The god blessed the people with bountiful farmlands land for generations. But then the lizard god Sist grew envious of the love the people of the kingdom had for the turtle god, and he cursed the land with drought until the plains became arid desert, where the people could no longer grow their crops. Schlurp tried to protect his people from Sist, but the gentle turtle god did not possess the strength for war, so he could not defeat the angry lizard god in, in, in combat to drive him from the land. Schlurp was overcome with sadness for his people as he watched them wither away from thirst and hunger, and he began to cry, his tears raining down on the parched lands. Such was the love of the turtle god for his people that his sadness at seeing them suffer overpowered the wrath of the lizard god, and Schlurp continued to cry until the desert was flooded, and as his people escaped to the mountain, Sist was drowned in the flood of tears Sh Shlurp's tears <laughs> soaked into the parched earth, and the desert became a swamp. The people of the kingdom to the lowlands uh, took to the lowlands to rebuild and thrive once again as the exhausted turtle god laid down for a long hibernation. The swamp kingdom is not as hospitable to the people as it was for their ancestors who enjoyed the plains, but it provides for them and the waters, now infused with the tears of their god, keep the people hearty and in good health. The people of the Swamp Kingdom still honor Schlurp, and they know he will awaken from his sleep again one day. I love it. Holy crappers. That's pretty awesome, right? It's fantastic. Thank you so much, uh, Johnny Medieval. Yeah, absolutely fantastic bit of lore. And what Iskal and I are going to do is figure out a build that is going to be basically like a ziggurat or a Mayan temple or something along those lines. Uh, we're still going to try and we're still working out exactly what the schematics for the build is going to be. But um, it's going to be absolutely awesome. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so it's night time now. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. But where you've built a, I see you've built a cobble or a pillar of. of there you go. So you can that, see that, right? That is ba Yeah, that is as far as I can see, pretty much. So if if the edge of it is there, I think that's going to be perfect, actually. Oh, amazing! So how did you pull that off? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I'm a pro, Iskall. Don't you know, man? I'm I'm a Minecraft pro. It's so funny because I can't see you. I just saw that thing like pop up. <laughs> Okay, epic. So this little pillar is basically represents where we're going to start the construction of this awesome giant ziggurat. Now, it's going to be a pretty hefty build, guys. So Iskal and I are not going to do it in this episode, but man, I, I, I don't know about you, my friend, but I can't wait for the next one to get started on this project. It's oh, going to be neither. absolutely yep. amazing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Awesome, man. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Iskal, for helping me out in my station harbor and for making me an amazing boat dispenser. So freaking happy with that build. It's so awesome. And thank you for, for letting me in and ruin your, <laughs> like, chopping down your wood and replacing it with stone bricks and redstone and craziness. Yeah, thank that's, you. That's impressive. <laughs> freaking Iskal butthole. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, it's been an absolute freaking blast playing with you as always, Iskal. We will see you guys and Iskalinator in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. Laters.